Hello, my name is Alex Josh, and I'm an architect in the Microsoft Group here at NetApp. Today we're going to be talking about Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V on SMB. This is a really big deal because it's probably the biggest change to storage since iSCSI came out. And in fact, in some ways, it's larger than that change. This is going to allow us to scale Hyper-V workloads uh, very high in a very simple way and with great fault tolerance. For, from a NetApp perspective, this is going to be implemented in a future version of Data on Tap, and we're going to be supporting continuous availability, ODX, and VSS on SMB shares. Today we're going to be talking about Hyper-V on SMB from an ODX perspective. So here we have Windows Server 2012, and what we're going to do is we're going to open up a SMB 2.2 share, and we're going to go ahead and copy a file. So as you would expect, we're going to get a you know 20 meg per second experience. And if we look over here on the uh, task manager, what you'll see is our Ethernet port is being pretty heavily utilized. And in fact, the, the graph will just auto-scale down here in a second. You'll be able to see it. So there it goes. So we're putting load on our, our network. So this is exactly what you'd expect in an SMB experience. So let's go ahead and do um, a similar task. Well, we're gonna, this time we're going to do it on an SMB 3.0 share. And as you can see, the speed is much, much higher. Um, in fact, it's more than 20x higher. The reason is because we're using the ODX protocol to offload the operation onto the storage array, which is, as you can imagine, it's a much more efficient way to do it. So let's go ahead and kill the copy operation. And we'll see that our Ethernet NIC drops again. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete the file that we just created and just do it again. So we're going to make another ODX copy. Um, and the reason why we're going to do this is just to show you what happens um, if there isn't a 2.0 copy, copy running in the background. So we're going to go ahead and make another copy. And again, it's running pretty quickly. But as you can see, there's no throughput on the Ethernet NIC. So as you can imagine, this uh, has great impact on the scalability of your Windows Server system. So basically what we're seeing here is Hyper-V running natively on SMB, running ODX. And this is a native integration with a future version of Data on Tap. So that was a very short preview of a future Data on Tap feature. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned at blogs.netapp.com slash for all the latest.